This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Byrne. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Thursday, March 7th. Let's get a check of your forecast now with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. What should we expect today? Well, another cold start, Kelly. Another cold afternoon. And we're also watching out for a pop-up snow shower that'll try to develop later on this morning. So here's 10, 11 o'clock, and there's that snow shower that I'm talking about. And even continuing through the remainder of the day, still going to watch for just a few flurries as that cloud cover hangs pretty tough going into this afternoon all the way into this evening. The clouds will start to thin out just a little bit more as high pressure builds in, but that is going to be a very slow process and it won't really be until tonight that we start to see some decently good clearing 28 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast breezy cold clouds some sun and don't forget about that pop up snow shower tonight. We're down into the teens, not as cold as this morning. 34 by tomorrow afternoon. We will have some snow showers from a clipper system with minor accumulation clouds and sun Saturday. We're back in the 40s, Kelly. Stefano, thank you. It's the largest one day event in our region. The St. Patrick's Day Parade in Scranton is just two days away, and there are an estimated 10,000 participants in the parade and as many as 100,000 people are expected to watch. With so many people coming to the city, it means a busy day and night for the Scranton Police Department. On Wednesday, leaders addressed safety and security issues. County leaders have already reached out to bars and restaurants requesting they not open early. As far as traffic safety, much of the downtown streets will be closed early Saturday morning and detours will be in place. A fire crews battle flames in frigid temperatures at a home in Scranton. Firefighters were called to the home on Stafford Avenue last night. The assistant fire chief says two people living inside were able to escape unharmed. Crews initially tried to battle flames from the inside, but the fire spread quickly and they had to get out. The cold weather also presented many challenges to the nearly 30 firefighters who worked to put out those flames. Those are today's top headlines. Have a great Thursday.